First, let's go through the interface of the app. So over here we have a description. I just read through it. If you click on this link, it will take you to our website where, our, where you can see our other services. Over here we've, we have a link to the quick start tutorial, which is this tutorial and the advanced tutorial. And it's just a note here about the fact that South Africa is going through some power cuts at the moment, which could make our internet unstable. And there might be downtimes and little hiccups from um, here and there. And also this, the app is currently hosted at the worker of the app, which runs the analysis, your design in the back end, um, and communicates with Victor, which the app is the platform the app is hosted on. Um, is hosted on our on-premise server and that could slow the app down a little bit but in future we are planning on obviously um, hosting it on a cloud service um, yeah so just a disclaimer there all right over here in the generate tab is where you actually create the designs and in our roadmap over here you can take a look at what we plan to integrate into the app in future performance enhancements the core enhancements and also reporting and advanced design. So just have a read through that as well. And over here, the feedback tab, please give us some feedback on how the app has been for you. And by clicking on this form, and also our email is linked in here and our services are also linked here as well. And in this view, this is a map view where you draw your, your site layout and when you want to run the analysis, run the, um, create the design, you push on this update button over here. All right. Now let's quickly make our first layout. So we go to the second tab, the generate tab. And just to note, if you hover over this icons here, you can, these little info circles here, you can see some descriptions. Um, that also will also help you navigate the app. All right. So to create our first site, we need to put this section down. So just click here, click on this pencil. I'm just going to zoom into my site. Um, okay. And just to note here, if you go to this, the black dot, at the top right corner. You can also go to a site satellite view. All right. And for this, I'm just gonna use the map view. Okay, I'm gonna draw my site. As you can see with the Victor Polygon tool, the Polygon tool is pretty rudimentary at the moment, but Victor is working on it. Obviously, as designers, what we would like is to be able to see lengths, areas, angles as we draw. But that is coming. All right. And I'm sure it will arrive pretty soon. And to close this off, I just click on this last dot. And now I have a site. Okay. And as you can see on this left panel, as I've completed the site, the other input sections showed up. Okay, for buildings, green areas, movement, parking inputs, and then download files. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm not going to add too much. I'm just gonna add two roots here. Here's something to note about when you draw a straight line, you need to add a third point because Victor's polyline only allows a minimum of three points, okay? And then I'm going to draw another one. And again, I need to make sure that I add a third point. Okay, so I'm just going to close this panel and then I'll go and edit the width of the base because I want some, I want some more parking over here. So I'm just going to reduce this to, let's say, two meters, um, no, let's reduce it less. And then the length I'll also reduce. Okay, as you can see as well, 
all the inputs have been clearly described with images to make it very intuitive to use. Okay, so now that we've added all our inputs, we can go to the layout view and click on the update button. So as it runs, this, just to, another note, the max run that we've set it to 12 minutes. So if your analysis runs longer than 12 minutes, it most likely is not going to be successful. Um, but a small site like this shouldn't take longer than six minutes. But I'm going to fast forward this part of the video and I'll let you know when it's done, how long, how long it took. Okay. Okay. As you can see, we have a layout. So that took about three minutes. Um, but this is not that impressive. So let's run it again. I'm just going to reduce the width of the movement truth here. So we can have more parking. So let's just run that again. Now go back to the, oh yeah, so I'm just going to update. Okay, so that took another three minutes to complete. And there we have, there we have a layout, a basic layout. In the advanced tutorial, we'll do a, an even bigger layout. Okay, in this part of the tutorial, we will download the JSON file that will help us create the layout on Revit. Okay, something I forgot to note that over here on the right panel, you have the site area shown, the number of parking spots created, green area, which is the islands, and all these green areas over here. Basically these empty areas where you can't really park or drive. And you also have the percentage of the green area. So those are four good metrics to help you make a decision on your design. All right, so to download the JSON file, we just go to download files. It will take about half the time the layout took to get created. So we just hit download here. And just note while it downloads, you can still work and view your layout, but you can't you can make edits to inputs, but nothing's going to change. You won't be able to, um, don't run the analysis while this has been downloaded, while this button remains gray. So just wait for it to download. And then when it downloads, we will go on to Revit. All right. I'll just fast forward the video and tell you how long that took. That took about a minute or less. And um, so now I'm just going to save this in my downloads folder. By default, it's called create elements, but you can call it something else. And then I'll just hit save. And then we'll go on to create an Revit. Cheers. Okay, the first thing to do to create the designed elements in Revit is to copy and paste the link in the description that indicates um, where the support files are located in our Google Drive folder. So just copy that link and paste it into your browser. I'm just pasting it here and just obviously click enter and then it'll take you over here to our Google Drive. And then it contains Revit family templates, which you should have by default, but just in case it's there. Dynamo scripts that will help you create the the elements in Revit and Dynamo Sandbox, the Spring Notes package, Revit park Parking Family, the sample JSON files that we've created if you want to take a look before you actually run anything yourself, and also sample geometry files um, for import into Rhino, Maya, 3D Max, Blender. Okay, um, so just also read through the README. It shows you where to place the Spring Notes package. If you already have the Spring Notes package um, installed, you don't need to worry about that. Um, and just, yeah, just read through this. Um, just, yeah, just, just do so. Thank you. 
And now we will create the elements in Revit. All right, now, so let's create our designed elements in Revit. First thing to do is to ensure that the parking family is in your project. So just look for where you saved it and load it in. Okay. And then next go to the manage tab and then go to dynamo player. And then now we have to load the Architera Dynamo script that lets, helps us to create the elements in Revit. There's another one called the Sandbox element that creates the elements in Dynamo Sandbox. So what we have to do to load the script is to click on this Add Folder button. And then you click on this plus button and look for the folder that contains um, the scripts wherever you've saved it the Dynamo scripts. All right. So I've already loaded it in here. So all I have to do now is click on this here, just click in the center. Now it opens up this window. So here you see the inputs. So if you added buildings in your layout, which we have not, you can give the family a name. Okay, and you can give the building family category, um, the building family a category, and the uh, the islands of the parking layout are made by, with floors, so you can choose the floor type. So I'm just going to choose, uh, let's say I choose a, a standard floor type, for instance, and the island offset from the floor, if I want it to be, I can make it 50, no, I think a minimum is, oh yes, okay. You can make a 50. And then you can also open the JSON file, which we downloaded. So I'm just going to go to my downloads and select that create elements file. Okay, and then I'm going to choose the parking family, the Architera parking family. So then it's AT, that one. Okay, and then if you made a building, you can then choose the family template. Okay, but we in this case, we did not. Okay, so this is an empty 3D view. So I'm just going to run it now. And it shouldn't take too long because that layout was pretty small. And then as you can see, it's been created. Done. And just ignore this warning because we don't have a building in here. Um, it does give an error, but as long as you see your layout, everything is fine. Um, when there is a building, you won't get that error. Okay. Thank you. Um, just an additional note, as you can see, um, the point, the point for us, um, a big thing for us was that everything comes back into the software you use as native objects. Because Revit is a BIM software, it's always good to be able to bring back all your elements into Revit so you can schedule them and do other things you want to them. You can edit them as you normally would. Um, but what we're, trying, what we're helping you with is instead of doing this manually in the first instance, spending days on this, we're allowing you to design very seamlessly on the cloud and then quickly bring it back and make modifications where you need to. Okay.